Hey guys and welcome to the fifth video of the Chrome Designs tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to insert a MP3 or music playlist onto your website. Whether it may be a website that I made for you, or it's a website you make from scratch, or a layout that you've got from the internet. Um, either way, um, I'm going to be showing you how to insert one. First thing you need to do is go to this website. It is also creations.fr slash duplayer dash en dot html. I will include this in the link, so don't worry. Right over here as you can see there's quite a few different uh, MP3 players. We've got the uh, the mini, the classic, the multi, the multi rec, the playlist, the bubble and the vinyl. Now, out of all these, the vinyl and the playlist are the only two playlist ones. The rest of them are single. But obviously, if you look at the multi, you can put a playlist on if you wanted. Uh, so is the multi Um And that's about it, I think. Yeah. So the first thing you want to do is click download. Once you click that, you will have the Duplayer RAR. Extract it and you will find all this. Now, okay, don't panic, I know this is quite a lot. Um, and today I will be showing you this one the classic. I'm going to show you how to use that. Uh, let's, uh, oops, let's minimize that. Okay, so first thing to do, delete that one because we don't really need that. I normally tend to rename this, so uh, index. Okay, let's open that up. I'm using Dreamweaver because I think Dreamweaver is a great uh, web editor. Uh, but you can choose what you want. Now, as you can see here, classic, that's one we want. So, what you do is just delete everything else. Uh, but you do need to keep the taglines. So div id equals players. Now, to find out which one of these flash files is the one we need, is looking here. Data equals duplayer.swf. So that's going to be this one. So we don't need the rest of them. Let's click delete there. And because this is a single playlist song, we don't need playlist or covers. So just go ahead and delete them too. Right, the next thing you want to do is uh, you can keep the test ones if you want. I tend to delete it. Today I'm going to be using Michael Bublé, Feeling Good. So I'm going to rename this to feeling underscore good. Okay, once that's done, make sure it is in the MP3 folder, and the MP3 folder has to be there. Um, and then what you do is just rename where it says test one. There we go, test one. And just rename it to uh, you rename yours. So mine is feeling good, as you can see, feeling good. And rename here as well, feeling underscore good. Um, bear in mind if you do rename anything like Jupyter W uh, S W F, make sure you rename here as well and here. So. Uh, let's go ahead and save that and uh, let's preview it. Let's see what the mother looks like. So, at the moment, that's what it looks like. If I click play, hopefully, you'll be able to hear that. Right, that's 
let's move on. Um, now what I'm going to do next is show you how to make it invisible. Um, now obviously you can see here, it's called D-I-V-I-D Players. I don't forget that. And what you want to do is open up Styles and look for Players, which is here. Then you want to put Margin, Dash, Top, Colon, Minus, 500p. So, margin dash top colon minus 500px. Okay, now that's done. Obviously, it's not an autoplay or loop, so we need to edit that first before we uh, carry on. So, on the Jupla, same thing as before. Um, what you do is just scroll down. You don't need to use any of this, so don't worry about that. Um, but over here, auto start and loop play. These are all the commands that you'll need for today. Um, obviously, the playlist ones you don't need at the moment. But otherwise, we will need auto start and loop play. So, uh, if you look here, it says flash bars equals option one equals value one, blah blah blah. That's what you need. So just go ahead and copy that. And you want to paste it. Over here. See it says data, width, height and ID. Just go ahead and place that there. And what you want to do is put auto star equals true. Over here. The next one's auto replay, so all I have to do is change that. Save it. And there we go. Now, if I refresh, it's invisible and it's still playing. So uh, that's how to hide your uh, Jupiter, but you do have to make sure you put minus 500 pixels so the uh, Jupiter goes up and hides up here. If you do 500 and not minus, so you do positive 500, it will just scroll down and you'll have a massive scroll bar on the side here. So you do have to be aware of that. But otherwise, that's all. Um, you'll need here for today. Uh, it's quite an easy thing to do, quite easy. Uh, nothing hard at all. Um, but if you do, if you don't want it here, you don't want it in that file, all you have to do is copy and paste the code into your uh, website. So I'll show you. All you do, Highlight this, copy and paste it into your body of your website, and uh, save it, and it should work. But do not forget that you do need to keep all these in your directory, except for index, obviously. But you do need uh, these folders in your directory as well, to where um, you have copy and paste it. Uh, but otherwise, I hope this has helped. Um, Please subscribe to me and watch my videos if you can request uh, anything you need help with. Um, but yeah, hope you had a good time and uh, have a good day.